I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time for another Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon netcast. And I trust you're enjoying your technology because we're going to be getting into some good techie stuff today. Although, I must admit, this has been a slow tech week. I mean, it's been a very energetic tech week in some areas, but slow in other areas. And I'll explain that to you right about now. First of all, I want to say that we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network. Techpodcast.com, if it's tech... It's right here on Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon. And oh, by the way, we are brought to you this week by Citrix. Once again, we're brought to you by Citrix GoToMeeting with HD Faces. Now, by the way, this is an HD webcam that I'm using right now. You see, the, the aspect ratio is 16 by 9. Yes. So you'll get the entire experience of being here in my office. How cool is that? And of course, that's what's so cool about Citrix's go-to meeting with HD Faces. It accepts or uses HD webcams like this one that allows you to have a meeting with people across the internet from anywhere via their software. And if you'll click on this special URL right here, then you'll be able to get a free trial of this amazing software. If you've tried it before, try it again because it's even better now with HD Faces. And I'm telling you, it's an awesome product. You need to check it out, and it's really cool how it works. So check that out. Okay? Now, let's talk about this strange week in technology. The big problem with this week is that Steve Jobs passed away this week. Now that's very sad. And when I heard about it, I was actually sitting in my living room, which is right in there. And I was watching TV and I was surfing the web at the same time. I do that sometimes. And I saw it posted that Steve Jobs had passed away. And I went, oh man. And my wife said, what? And I said, Steve Jobs passed away. She said, really? And so we were shocked and amazed. And I'm telling you, people all week long have been talking about what Steve Jobs has meant to the technology world, the technology industry. And it's been very enlightening. One thing that struck me is that he was born in 1955. I was born in 1955. Now, he was born in February. I was born in November. So he was 10 months older than I am, but that's not that much. And so I got to thinking, dude, he was a young guy, you know? I mean, I kid about being the computer curmudgeon and being old and all that kind of stuff, but I'm really not that old. I mean, 55, it's not that old. Anyway, the point is, I was fairly shocked about this. Now, I know he was fighting pancreatic cancer, he had a liver transplant, he had all these different health issues, and uh, our hearts and prayers go out to Steve's family and his close friends, and he had an extended family in the Mac family, and uh, Apple and, and all of that and the iPad and the iPod and all the various i devices and so uh, people really took it hard. I know some people who uh, looked at it really as, as like a family member passing away because they were so invested in Steve's vision for computing and for devices. Now one thing I will say for the des devices he designed they are elegant, beyond elegant. You look at a MacBook Air, or you look at an iPad, or an iPod, they are just so quality, so slick. And so it really is amazing the, uh, literally the joy that he brought into a lot of people's lives um, through his designs, through his innovations, through his creations. I saw him this week compared to Thomas Edison, I saw him compared to Henry Ford, um, you know, the great inventors of our country. Uh, he goes right down into those annals as well. 
and I'm telling you, uh, it was quite an outpouring of uh, really love for Steve Jobs and the legacy that he left us. So um, fascinating in that sense, but because of that, there wasn't a lot of other news and discussion uh, about other issues this week. Everybody was just really caught up in the tributes to Steve Jobs, and, and in a sense, that's as it should be. I mean, he he was a titan, definitely, in our industry, no question about it. So um, let's go to the tech news that we do have, uh, and, and it is very abbreviated this week, but let's just jump right into it. LibreOffice and the Document Foundation mark one year of existence. And that's pretty amazing. I really like LibreOffice. I like it even uh, better than OpenOffice, which was my previous favorite Office product. LibreOffice, of course, is a branch off of OpenOffice. They have since improved it dramatically, and they've been at it now one year. The Document uh, Foundation marked its first anniversary of the day the developers broke away from the Oracle-controlled OpenOffice.org to start the LibreOffice Office Productivity Suite. Uh, this was on September the 28th. Now, I found out about this and blogged about it on October 5th, but at any rate, uh, really impressive what they've done in a year's time. Now, the next item is, is what we've already talked about, Steve Jobs passing away. And uh, the official statement from Apple that came out on October the 5th said, We are deeply saddened to announce that Steve Jobs passed away today. Steve's brilliance, passion, and energy were the source of countless innovations that enrich and improve all our lives. The world is immeasurably better because of Steve. His greatest love was for his wife, Lorraine. Uh, I trust I'm pronouncing it that correctly. L-A-U-R-E-N-E. Lorraine or Lorene, I'm not sure, and his family. Our hearts go out to them and to all who were touched by his extraordinary gifts. And really, that's been the case all week. As I said, people have been expressing their um, remembrances and their thoughts about Steve and all that he accomplished. So, uh, by the way, if you've never seen the movie, uh, what is it, the... Wizards of Silicon Valley, I think it is. Check that movie out. It's a really interesting movie about uh, Bill Gates and Steve and uh, Steve Wozniak and, and all of what happened uh, in the early days when uh, Microsoft and Apple were coming up. It's interesting, interesting movie. So you need to check that out. It's, it's kind of neat. People were talking about that this week as well and how much they enjoyed that movie. And, of course, Steve is coming out with a book. Uh, he had already obviously published it, uh, or not published it, but written it. And it was, uh, I don't know if it was written by him or about him, actually. I, I'm not sure if it was an autobiography. But at any rate, it was about to be released. And, of course, now it's being released. Um, the timing is, is rather remarkable. Uh, for that book, and there's discussion that that book's going to be made into a movie. So there's a lot of things that are coming out of this. All right, next item is Durcaster. Now, <laughs> last week, as I was doing, getting ready to do the netcast, I ran into some issues because somebody sent me an email that said, Dr. Bill, I love your program, but I can't get it anymore on my Zoom. And I was like, what in the world? He said, I'm having problems with the feed. So I ran the feed for this program through feed validator and by the way if you have an RSS feed and you want to test it and make sure it is iTunes compatible you can run it through feedvalidator.org I'm going to put that up here on the screen uh, use that as your test and I did that and oh man it was full of all kinds of errors so I went what in the world and then I remembered that I had moved the feed for this program over to a new server and this new server had a later version of CentOS Linux, which meant it also had a later version of PHP. And so I spent a lot of last Saturday morning tweaking and fixing my version of PHP, um, well, actually the PHP INI file, on the new server. Now, the purpose of the new server is it has much greater bandwidth uh, for download. So you should notice an improvement in the download speed and therefore the streaming of this netcast. 
But in the process, it kind of broke the RSS feed because Durcaster uh, was really designed back a while back, and some of the code was not up to snuff for the newer version of PHP. So I went back and got a new Git ID3 library, latest version, incorporated that into Durcaster, and then Henry Ratliff had to do a little tweaking to make it work correctly with that new Git ID3 library. And so that, of course, necessitated a new release of Durcaster. We're up to version 0.9H. <laughs> so uh, I mentioned here in the uh, write-up to be sure that in your PHP INI you set a field that is in there, uncommented if it's if it's commented out, and set it date dot time zone equals, and then whatever time zone you're in. Uh, in my case, it would be America slash New York because I'm in the Eastern time zone. And so set that, and then everything should work fine. And uh, I've got a link here, and I'll put it up here on the screen as well for the Durcaster project. Now. Um, Sadly, <laughs> we don't have a Geek Software of the Week. I'm sorry. Like I said, it's just been a strange week this week with Steve Jobs passing and all the lack of uh, uh, news and so forth. There's just not a whole lot that I can go into. I did want to do a little tribute as I did to Steve Jobs there. Uh, I, I don't have any Apple products to speak of. I mean, actually, I don't think I have any other than using iTunes occasionally. And I really only use that. Uh, to make sure that my feeds go out correctly and that they're in iTunes properly because I know a lot of people use iTunes to watch programs like this. So um, not a big user of Apple products, but I've always wanted a MacBook Pro. One of these days I'm going to get one. And uh, it's, it's really amazing to think about all the people that use so many Mac products and the fact that they were just literally devastated this week over Steve Jobs' death and uh, you know, it's like the loss of a close friend, really. Um, so, you know, again, our heart and, and prayers go out to all the folks that were affected by that event. And uh, next week, there'll be more tech news to talk about. While i got a few minutes, though, I do want to uh, encourage you to do something for me that will help the netcast tremendously. And that is go to our website, drbill dot cc, drbill dot cc, as it says right here. Go to that website and click on our links. See, a lot of people don't realize it's important to support the netcast by going to the website and checking out some of the things we have there. Uh, for instance, if you go over to the side, last week I was talking about uh, Tire Direct. This week we've got the HD. Um, faces go to meeting ad there click on the try it free button I'm gonna click on it myself and and just look at the page that it uh, takes us to because the offer that goes with this is really really good it's a tremendous offer and so I'd encourage you to check it out um, it's loading now I don't know why it's taking so long to load but while it's doing that let me talk about a few others if you look over to the right hand side you'll notice social networking we've got our YouTube channel if you haven't signed up if you haven't subscribed to that YouTube channel please do that that'll help us you can follow me on Twitter at at D-R-B-I-L-L-B-A-I-L-E-Y Dr. Bill Bailey uh, as the Twitter address also on Facebook we have a Facebook group uh, LinkedIn link there Vimeo uh, Dig and Blip TV and VodPod all of those links are there for the show and then all the way down to the very bottom there's a link for Tiger Direct. It's at the very bottom of the page. You have to scroll all the way down to see it. But uh, great deals are available. Deal of the day. All kinds of good stuff there. All right. The go to meeting go link came up. Must be so many people clicking on it. Yes. All right. It says here go to meeting is a simple way for people to collaborate online. And now it includes HD Faces high definition video conferencing. Uh, you can try it free for 30 days. Just fill out the first name, last name, email address, click continue, and it will send you a link to download the trial for a 30-day free trial. I'm telling you, you need to try the software. It's really amazing stuff. So check that out. Support the netcast. 
We'll have more stuff next time. I know it's been kind of a different show this week, but hang in there. We'll be back with more silliness next time. Uh, this was just a different week because of what all was going on with Steve Jobs passing away and so forth. But join us next time. Remember until then that the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of DrBillBailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.